Hello, my magical friends, and welcome to Witch Tea Wednesday, where I sit down, enjoy some tea, and talk about different things regarding my witchy practice. Today, we are enjoying Russian Earl Grey from the Tea House. Uh, it's a sophisticated blend of orange pico grade teas from Sri Lanka and China. The leaves are scented with the oil of bergamot, lemongrass, dried orange peel, corn flowers, petals, and natural flavors. First scent I get from when I brew this up is definitely the citrus, definitely orange, and I love Earl Grey. I used to hate it. I really didn't like it. It was a little too strong for me, but as I'm getting older, my palate is changing and now I am obsessed with Earl Grey. Don't get me wrong, coffee is great. I used to love coffee so much, but I find that tea is just so different between cups. You don't always get the same flavor, the same taste from the same tea over and over again. There's subtle changes and it's it's those subtle changes that really make me more of a tea person than a coffee person. But with that said, it's not like I don't use coffee in my practice. I do. I usually use it as a booster, like a spell booster. I use it a lot in simmer pots and that is kind of what we're going to get into today. I'm going to talk to you about intention papers. So, what are intention papers? First and foremost, intention papers are basically pieces of paper that have been soaked in an herbal blend or blessed with some sort of oil or some sort of smoke that has an underlining intention to it that's supposed to help boost your spell or your manifestation that you are writing on the paper. So for instance, the paper that I'm going to be showing to you today has the intention of prosperity, protection, and abundance. So this would be a great paper to use if I'm going to be using it for protection, or if I'm going to be using it for prosperity workings, or if I'm going to be working with abundance spells, or for my purpose, I usually write it as like manifestation, intention, goal paper. And you can either use it to burn, you can use it in your journals or in your ancestor work. Generally, whatever spell you're making that requires you to write something down, you can make an intention paper to kind of boost the intention of your spell work. The whole reason why we're here is how do you make intention paper? And it's very simple. You make a simmer pot with the intentions that you want to imbue the paper with. You use the simmer pot to cleanse your space. And then when you let the liquid cool after you're done letting it simmer, because the last thing you want to do is burn yourself during a spell. So let that liquid cool. You will transfer that liquid into a container in which you can soak your paper in. Now, I generally like to use white paper, but if you want to make specific papers for protection, you can use black paper for uh, abundance, you can use green paper for prosperity, happiness, cleansing, you can use yellow paper, and that's bringing in color theory and that's a whole other thing that we can talk about later. What I generally like to do with my intention papers is use a basic white paper because most of my simmer pots have several intentions behind it, which then allows the paper to have several intentions set to it. So when I decide to use it for abundance, I can use it for abundance, or if I want to use it for protection, I can use it for protection, and the color doesn't lock it in, if that makes sense to you. Once you have transferred the liquid over to the pot or to the pan, 
or the container where you are going to soak your paper, uh, you place the paper into the pan, container, whatever, and you let it sit and basically absorb the liquid for, I did 30 minutes, some people do less, but I find that doing 30 minutes definitely has the paper soaked, the intention is fully soaked in. And then once your paper is soaked with the intention, you then can dry the paper. Now there are different ways of doing it, some people dry paper in the oven at the lowest setting, some people will hang it out to dry on the line in the backyard. Some may even hang it in their bathroom in the shower. I did a dehydrator at the lowest setting for an hour only because I have cats and hanging anything in my house to dry is a marathon. After my paper dried in the dehydrator for an hour at the lowest setting, I then was able to get intention paper and this intention paper I'm able to use in all sorts of spells such as I mentioned protection prosperity abundance and health workings and the nice thing about these intention papers is that you can customize the size of them as well so for instance you don't need a full sheet unless you're doing like a petition or something uh, you can use a smaller sheet to use in spell jars and by being able to cut these sheets up you're able to have the paper last longer and basically work to how you want to do your spell work. Now how do you store your intention papers? I have a little file folder that has been divided up with the names of the intentions, so like spirit paper, ancestor paper, divination paper, and abundance paper, protection paper, all of those are different sections and I just shove them in there. Uh, what other people may do is punch holes in the paper and have them filed away in a binder. I could see how that is useful only because you just have to grab one binder from your shelf and go through and grab the paper that you want or cut it to the size that you want and then you just put that back so for the more organized people maybe that's what you're into you put your intention papers away and you don't pay much attention to it there is a chance that the paper may go inert but upon using it for a spell if you set your intention on the paper it should reawaken the paper to be used in your spell so yeah, that is what intention paper is, how to make intention paper, how to store intention paper, and just a little introduction to Witch Tea Wednesdays to start off the new year. Hopefully you liked this video. If you did, click the like button down below. If you have a question, comment, an idea for a future video, or have a recipe for a simmer pot that you want to share, comment section is down below. And if you want to see more of these videos, hit the subscribe button. And until next time, my beautiful magical souls, stay safe, stay magical, and have the day that you deserve. Toodles for now.